Onward. Onward. I thought maybe we made the wrong investment. I thought maybe we better go for a self-propelled, a good clean second hand self-propelled. See that yacht here can do there and that's their tractor there. She impressed me now to be fair. Saw him but I kept. going to head out here and just came back from from certain there and ours headed on given land full uh 90 acre right now from land full her in the rear tank to get out had about four thousand liters to be fair it's a lot of stuff there I'm burning off here at the moment there so slightly under 50 liters to the acre there to be fair but with that much rain and whatnot you don't have to worry about a shortage of water on the shortage of water on top of the grass and I that's for sure a bit of moisture so at the moment we're gonna left a wee man so my sprayer there the 1300 in the back and then the, the upper the upper one to my front tank is roughly about seven eight hundred liters and that but she automatically whenever you're filming she automatically uh change it you know so oh it's a good job to be fair puts a bit of weight in the front of her kind of balances the whole thing out to be fair our yachts have never been as well balanced to be fair because whenever she's empty she kind of works well there there's that cruise control there to get away here now <clears throat> so to be fair just uh just heading out here to burn off the feet for me is it's just kind of on the show a bit of grass coming up again so marine's bringing the boss man here so be better to wait on them because there'll be some noise if I make a start without them. Track the ways, maybe about overkill, but <laughs> we're, we're just burning off here. She doesn't really work at the crop shit right enough. The way the uh, crops is so, uh, the way the crops is uh, growing so well at the moment, seven tenths might actually not be a bad job. She's full very and awesome. To be honest, we uh, frame her tractor. She definitely bosses the sprayer. Be four thousand liters on you, like you're very right, but a weight. So that's the sprayer screen, tractor, GPS screen. Whenever I'm following her, and I just type on phone. And then I just tell her how much hectares I'm doing and I have volume I'm putting on. I have upper air now we bit, so that's the volume I'm putting on the liters per hectare. And then she tells me how much they put on or put in the sprayer to do so. So it's handy. You've got to keep the bosses happy. <laughs>
safe. And then she's still section control still on. So when she reverses, she'll not spray. And then as I take off again, she'll automatically start doing the me points in the corner and then automatically put herself back down again. Now because I'm doing roundup, I kind of want their 90% there as close as I can to the ground so that there's no blowing up around the in the neighbours, you know. So to be fair there, like that is as tight as you would nearly want her to the ground. The ultrasonic there sensors, I think it's all ultrasonic sensors you have there in the ground. She uh wee grey ones there, they pick up the ground, so she's two of them each side. So she indicates she fully indicates um the height for me. So I literally at the moment I'm just going a wee bit slower because <laughs> trying to hold the steering wheel in one hand, hold the phone in the other, which isn't so simple. The lights is on there at the back of her, so that, to be fair, it's kind of, I didn't actually, first, it is kind of the second or third day we have her out there to see what they're like, but to be fair, that looks like a mighty job there. You can see quite well there. So, at the moment, it's quite Two bosses run beside me here, so it's just to kind of kill off a bit of grass for the maze yeah. because you stop any suds or anything like that. So, the minute she comes around, and then the minute I scoop my screen, come onto this green here now, she automatically switch off. Wait. So, uh, reverse again, show automatically lift up, fully automatic, and then I'll come round again. Honest, I'm just getting myself lined up again to go back up the field. As I'm sure everybody else is in the same boat, ground conditions is far from is far from perfect. So the sex control, once she starts, you see that, she's starting to spray already. There's the sections. I just put her back up to 100% this time. Because I want her close, but I don't want her, I don't want to hit her anyway, that's for sure. So that's her putting it out there now. She'll count down to 125 liters to the hectare. What she's doing, she has 300 liters still in the front tank, 900 in the rear, but she fully automatically changes that all over. Keep the spread the weight from the rear to the back, the front to the back. Just like that. Oh yeah, and this button here is for my end rings, so I'll change the page, switch off that. That means I have an extra nozzle on the outside to spray into the heat, so now that's it off again. So that'll be us now back there. What do you think, Max? Good, good. What do you think, Tommy? <laughs> and then I just flick across my GPS screen. As I say, I do think, I know two screens would sort this out. You'd be fit to see both, but I really don't need to push the buttons too much. It's more just kind of, Keep my eye, run my eye over them. So no. I think that would be a good job. The sprayer screen. So at the moment she's working her way there, fully automatic. As I say, she holds, she would hold 4,000 liters when she's full, which can do a lot of ground in the last swoop. We've only went for 24 meter. Um, it's just to kind of sit everything, our ground and whatnot. Dong's been brought on here through the year, so we got a travel to do. If I can get this right now, with my hands and the steering wheel, so I'm one hand turning, one hand on the phone, so I'll just go and do a brave and slow. So she's ready, shut herself off, fully automatic. Like so. So then I'm following my track up. And now I'm getting back on my street again, so I wanted to just show you now the sprayer. So this here I'll turn on first. There. 
the same all going on the sections. That's her way again. Definitely a good bit of kit now. Robbie went out there, most of his Robbies kind of call, he wanted this sprayer. I was kind of thinking maybe better with the money it cost to buy this to go for a very fresh, self propelled, second hand self propelled. But Robbie says, No, I would have rather this. So they agreed to go for it. And to be fair, Robbie's call was a good one because I can understand why he, like, he came home the first day after and he was like, Some job. And to be fair, there. She has some job. Robbie normally does all the spraying, 90% of it. To be fair, I kinda, if he's at work and whatnot, I would jump on then and do whatever I needed to be and you know, whatever it doesn't sit, you know. So, as for raising when you go back, she also raises whenever you're driving across your green ground, the ground you've already sprayed. So the minute I hit this, she automatically raises again, like so. And then because that dung and that feel has just left me a wee bit awkwarder here. I'm just kind of doing it in any shape here at all. As I say, it doesn't really matter which way I do the feel. She automatically spray it, anyway. So I just wanted to show you here now. Like whenever I come in here, and even though this isn't an end ring, this is the middle of the feel. I just wanted to show you the way she'll rise now again. No, up, and you have three settings in that. So you have a low setting, a medium setting, and a high setting for the height of your boom. At the minute, I'm in the medium setting. She was at the low setting, but I think maybe for cereal crops, she would get away with it. But as for grass and as for loads of dung in the field and whatnot, it's a bit more chancy. So, and then, as I say, the minute I hit this again, you'll see now, she automatically lower down. So now you'll see her starting to come down. As I say, one hand on the steering wheel, one hand on the phone, so I'm not doing absolutely anything here. I'm literally just painting on the picture. Ignore the, ignore the coat. We have a proper bracket that goes over the back, but we built it for the 7S and the 19s, thinking, you know, like we have a bracket there as well, it does the 19s as well, but we never thought, this here would be on an 8S, to be honest with you, so we never bought, we never put a bracket on her, but we put a coat around it just at the minute to keep it off the mudguard from rubbing her paint. But to be fair, now we have her on the 8S, it'd be a wild tempting to stay, keep it on, but ah, too heavy for the cereal grain. <laughs> We're just being greedy. That there is the bit of dung over there, this bit here, but there's a wee bit here to the left up here. So I'll try and show you how it is for the size of this field, we're just driving anywhere. So really, I'll just see if I can get her there, see if it turns on. Okay, that's it covered on. And that's me touching the hunt. That's just her coming across that. She realized it was must. So that's the size of the field. We'll see if she gets us wee bit here. It's not like all the same. I'll see if she won't. That's her now beeping there now to say she could have done it. Perfect job.